Surprise decision in the East Bay. It's now forcing a lot of families to scramble. West Contra Costa campuses are temporarily closing after positive COVID tests. Teachers in other districts are now raising their own concerns. Today in the Bay, Sharon Katsuda joins us live in Contra Costa County this morning. And Sharon, 28,000 students we understand will be affected in that district alone. That's right, Laura. Yes, the West Contra Costa School District, the temporary shutdown will take place tomorrow and Monday, and it's for deep cleaning. Meantime, hundreds of kids at Martin Luther King Junior Elementary in Richmond are being shifted back to virtual learning. The school district superintendent made the decision after 10 of the school students in several different grades tested positive for COVID on Monday. This week, a lot of kids uh, positive test, COVID-19 COVID test. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, for me, for my little son, for safe him, is safe my kids, it's better study at home. I've spoken to the superintendent in the past, and he really wants to keep the schools open, but he says his decisions will be based on science and local numbers. So this is what the district believes will support in-person learning down the road and keeping COVID numbers down. And several San Francisco teachers say the district has failed to plan for the Omicron surge, so they might stage a sick out later today. Leaders of United Educators of San Francisco say they don't support a sick out. They want schools to stay open but only if the district does more to keep teachers and students safe. They say the administration needs a better plan for replacing sick teachers and distributing at-home test kits. Now, the district says that it has provided testing since last spring to students and staff, and they just received a new batch of at-home test kits that they plan to distribute in the days ahead. Reporting live in Contra Costa County, I'm Sharon Katsuda, Today in the Bay.